Hi there, and welcome to VSF Recovery Team. Well, we got a little bit of a dilemma here. The carburetor was back ordered on me, won't be here till the end of the month. And we need the trailer. We have an event this weekend. So we got to get this snowcat off of the trailer safely, somehow. I tried rebuilding the carburetor. It was a total mess. I'm, I couldn't believe the thing was even ran enough to get on the trailer. So there's no way we're going to get it running without a new carburetor. That thing is totally a mess. The carburetor shot, junk. The plan is we're going to use the starter and drive it off of the trailer on the starter alone. We're going to disable it so we know it won't start and it won't take off on me. But the other problem is, is that means we can't steer it. And if you look, this isn't quite on the trailer perfectly straight. So, without being able to steer it, I think we got a little bit of a problem. First, we got to get it centered on the trailer. So, we're going to do like we've done to some trucks before when we've had problems loading, unloading on trailers. We're going to bring the wrecker in, we're going to see if we can pick up the back end of this and move it over a little bit on the trailer. I think that's straight enough on the trailer uh, to back it off, or at least I hope so. Now the question is, I don't really want to back it off right here because this is the end of my driveway. And wherever we leave it is probably where it's going to end up sitting for a while because it's going to be difficult to move once we get it off the trailer. Not to mention these ramps are awful steep sitting in this spot. So. I think we better find a better spot to back it off and a better place for it to sit. I haven't moved all the dirt in front of the shop yet. We got a pretty good slope here. If I back the trailer up to this and then we put the ramps out, I think that'll be a good spot to unload it. And we can get the snowcat right back into the shop. We just back it off of the trailer on the starter right into the shop. But that means we need to move Seat covers truck. It's the next project anyway. Should we move it over onto the hoist?
Yep. Okay, next step, hook up the top kick so we can move the trailer into place. Oh, this is the hard part. I really need to get that Father's Day gift on this trailer. How's your arm still after that workout? Oh, I'll be glad when I get that uh, electric jack kit on that trailer. <laughs> Well, I think the trailer is straight in front of the shop. So hopefully we can back that sucker straight off right into the shop here uh, without any problems. What about the ice spikes and the floor? Ooh, well, let's see if we can get those ice spikes out. They are removable. Well, babe. Well, this one's loose. Hey, that one came out. 
don't want to lose them. Might uh, might find a need for them someday. See if we can get that one out. Pull the pin. Got the pin. Okay. No? No. That one's stuck in there pretty good? Uh, yeah. All right, Unless well. Unless you got talent. Unless you got talent. Oh, no, that one's stuck pretty good. Well, I suppose we better put some two by fours down on the floor or something. All right, we got some wood on the floor. Hopefully uh, that'll save the floor. And I think we're ready to try and uh, back that thing off with the starter. What did you do? Pull the wire off the ballast. That'll keep the ignition from firing. Won't hurt anything. And uh, that way we won't risk it firing up at the wrong time. Oh, that's a lot of cranking. We're gonna give the starter a little bit of a rest. It's one of those Chrysler gear reduction starters and this thing is way low geared. We're gonna give it a rest so we don't overheat it. And boy, can I smell fuel pouring out of that carburetor. Well, battery was getting pretty low. We got the battery charger on it now. Um, it's sitting in the hood there. It'll ride along with us. As long as we don't run over the cord, I think we're good. We can hope. Well, we didn't get it all the way off straight. It fell. Is this going to be a viral video? I don't know. Hey, there's one good thing. You didn't wreck the plate. You didn't tear the light off. No, but our differential is sitting right on the ramp. And it's pointing up on our track. Well, with the help of a floor jack and pulling the trailer out from underneath it, we got it on the ground now. And we didn't really damage anything. That's good. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. 
It looks like you're going to plan B. Yes, we're going to plan B. The battery's uh, just about drawn out and uh, the charger isn't keeping up and we gotta get this in the shop. It's getting dark out, it's getting late. So we're gonna see if the wrecker can pull this thing in neutral. I've never tried to pull a snow cap before. I don't know how hard it is. It's for times like this, it's why I built a drive through shop. Off the trailer, it's in the shop. We can go to our event this weekend. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and yep, maybe we'll see you in the woods.